In this video, we'll balance the equation AlNO3-3 plus Na2S, aluminum nitrate plus sodium sulfide. Let's count the atoms up. We have aluminum, one of those, and we're going to use a trick here to make this a lot easier. And you can use this on any equation that has a polyatomic ion on both sides. If it's the same on both sides, we can just count it as one thing. So here I have that nitrate ion. I have it here again, but I have three of them. So for the nitrate, I have the one times three, three nitrate ions. That's going to make balancing much easier. For the sodium, I have two and one sulfur atom. Product side, two aluminum, and then just the one nitrate, and then one sodium and three sulfur atoms. So as I look at this here, because I'm just counting this nitrate as one thing, everything's a lot neater. Let's just balance the aluminum atoms first, because if I put a two as my coefficient, one times two, that would balance the aluminums. We do need to update the nitrates though. So we have three times the one. We have three nitrates here times the two. That'll give us six. We might as well just put a six over here. So now we have one times the six for the sodium, but we have the one nitrate times six. That'll balance the nitrates. Let's just put a three in front of the sodium sulfide. Two times three, that equals six. Those are balanced. One times three, that equals three. Those are balanced and we're done. So when you balance these double displacement reactions here, it's often helpful to consider these polyatomic ions as just one thing if they appear on both sides. It saves a lot of time and on tests, that's kind of important. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for aluminum nitrate plus sodium sulfide. Thanks for watching.